Well, hello, YouTube. All right, we got a dead turkey in the kitchen. I'm gonna clean him quick and dirty. A quick and dirty breast. Uh, now there's a lot more left of a turkey you can eat, the legs and the thighs. But the legs never cook very well for me. I haven't figured it out how. The thighs are good. Save all your thighs, cook them together one time in a slow cooker. And you'll have a pretty good meal out of that. But for today, we're gonna breast him and go. Cause I'm in a hurry, gotta go work. Make some money so I can afford to go turkey hunting. Uh, anyway, so there's that bird. Dirty, wet, flopped around plenty. And wet bird's dirty, so this is gonna be, we're gonna make a mess and then we'll clean it up at the end and go. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the trophies off. And here's how you wanna do that. Always check for a double beard. Them little tiny double beard up in there, usually above them. Do a little look around the field, make sure there ain't one. And this guy ain't got one, but he was just about two ridges from where I had killed a couple. You know what he is? That is strange right there. This. It ain't a double beard. Well, I guess technically it is. It's got a second. It's got a whole nother nugget right there. It sure is. And that hair growing out of the, the side of that wax ring. Guess technically it ain't because it's not a separate wax nugget. But that's got a spur. I don't know if y'all can see that. This fur growed out there by itself. Pretty trippy. Let's take a closer look at that in a minute. Hmm. Let's just take a look. Anyway, one one ridge over from where I've killed three double bearded birds. So the genetics had it right there for a little while. But... All right, I always get about a, a little more than a quarter of an inch of the white. You can feel the top of that wax nugget and you can pull feathers back and you saw one side of it. That little bit of meat around that wax will dry and virtually disappear. Look at what I was showing you there. That's, that's weird. It's got a, a tuff on there. And I don't know if that's a feather wrapped around it or what, but you don't see that, is that showing up? Yeah. That's trippy. I don't know what it means, but anyway, about a 10 inch beard. Ah, maybe nine. Nine inch beer. Got that, and I'm gonna use spurs. I always use air bypass loopers. It just makes it easy. And they're sharp, too. You know, everybody halfway and whack them off, you gotta cut them later with the... Ryan's gonna trim them up anyway, so. It's about them hooks. One of them's just a little more than an inch, and the other one's about nine tenths of an inch. Pretty good hook. Next thing I always get is feathers. I don't know why I collect feathers, but I get the tail feathers every time. I've got tail feathers all over my house. Vase is full of them. Get it close to the base up there, right at the beginning of the feather veins. Give it a sharp jerk, real sharp. It comes out of these.
one at a time. Try to get through it real slick. They come out of a warm bird easier too. He is warm. He's on the ground less than 30 minutes now. Flu flu feathers off of there. Move them up a little bit. We can. There you go. Make me another turkey bouquet. I gotta put them where the cat can't get them. I have lost a few beards to cat. Boy, that'll make you mad. Golly, I can kill a cat to get my turkey beard. Now we're gonna start cleaning to get the breast. This will be the messy part. So squeamish viewers, look away. Uh, we'll get on top of the breast right there, right on the big old nugget. It's hard as a brick and this is just ugly, but this is how I do it. Get your water skin in your hand. Stick it in there and go right down the middle. Just under the skin. It don't matter if you cut the gobble bucks. Gobble bladder. And turn it to the other side. You always tip right there. Try to pick the skin up. That way it don't uh, cut into the breast meat. It usually separates pretty well. And then you really gotta worry about not getting it all feathery because you're gonna peel most of that layer of skin off. Now we got it separated. Gonna put a hand right there, grab all it together at once. You're gonna push down and push the thigh at the same time. Break that thigh over, break the breast over, just like that. And take the rest of that skin and peel it off. Uh oh, I got a couple shot in his breast. What do you think about that? He was about 25 yards and shot it to just above the wattles in the net. I always shoot at the net. Yeah, there's a pellet hole or two. Lead number five is bad on the teeth. All right, now we're going to, while we got one side open, we're going to separate that gobble box and all that nastiness right there from it. Pull it out, that breast meat will separate from this stuff pretty easy. Oop. Unless you're a dork and you cut into the breast meat, that's kind of good one. You would think you could tear that, but you can't. It is so daggone slick, you can't hold on to it. Take a gobble box, pull it out. You got a gobble left in him right now. Nope, now we don't. Now we'll separate. Oh, well, let's do this first. Hold that back over, you can even tuck it over his shoulder right there and it'll hold it for you. Now grab this other side. I'm gonna do the same thing the other way. A little bit started better here. Move them down and bust that thigh over. Just like that. We 
Mm. You want to cut some of this blood stain off? And then we get this side of the fat. He was pretty fat turkey. Now is a good time to look for wolves or anything like that because if they're going to be here, a lot of times they're right up in here where the turkey can't reach them, by the way. If you've ever found a wolf in a turkey, boy, it sure make it hard to eat. Big feathers go down and drain, golly. Come on, cut. Now, this is the easy part now. Right there in front of the nugget. Separate the two breasts and just cut back to the nugget. Easy as can be. Except I'm kind of left handed for the camera. No. There we go. There's a knot right there. Cut around it and go down to the backbone. And then slide down that inner thigh. Or inner breastplate, I mean. Like that, feel that tender going off. I said it a few times there. It makes it so easy just to follow the bone. There's where the tender loin ties in right there. Cut that out and leave a little hold on. That tender loin is so tender that even not real sharp knife will. I'm doing this a little slower than I normally would just to try to lift a little bit right there. When I cut it down to right there, get to that wing bone joint, I usually go ahead and trim off some of that wing. I'll eat it. Uh, can't get much of it, but follow right along the wing bone right there. Once you get to about right there, just cut it off. There we go. Oh, boneless turkey breast with the tenderloin. Trim that off a little bit later and see what we got. I'm going to do the other side. Same thing on the nugget. Go around to the breastbone. Slide right down it. All the way. Be laying like a fish. Right along the edge. That tender loin peels off. Going about right here, you can swap over and go down the bones the other direction. It's easy. They got three forks right there you guys can avoid in the long ribs. All the way down to that piece of wing. breath that's all I get on this bird today but you can go ahead and 
flip right there at your leg. This part of the leg has never been good and edible to me. I don't like them, but the thighs are good dark meat. I just don't necessarily cook them. I tend to put them in the freezer with a big bag full of them and never cook them. They freeze or burn. But that is good meat. You can go for it. It is not wanting a waste to throw it. All that bag up there. Thank you, buddy, for your service. I will enjoy it. That's five gallon bucket, by the way. Yeah, you can clean up my table here. I gotta get the feathers off. I'm gonna lay that breast right there on that super sealed and healthy granite. As I clean one of them off. Once that little knife a little bit and allow that butter just to come right out. That was not hot water. You had cold water too, by the way. Got off, man. Oops, got on me. That ain't the sharpest knife in the world, like I said. It's been a couple of years since the last time I've sharpened it. So I need to work on that. My fault, my bad. That fine jumps me. That right there is what you can fill off and get most of them with the feathers if you get in the water. You don't see them in there. Oh, look at that. Copper plated number five right in the middle of the tender line. Don't want to eat that. I got him. Say that for later. I have no idea when. Uh oh. I just dropped it into my garbage disposal. That'll be a wonderful sound. Let be gentle with them tender ones. They will bust. You just fall apart on you if you ain't careful. Filling them pellet holes for another DD. Looks like I got three, maybe four DDs got to him. Filling the breast, and that's going to happen. Four, five. All right, five chances for a dental bill, and I think I eliminated one of them, maybe. Poop some feathers down into them pellet holes. It don't really matter if you fly, fry a feather if you're used to eating a few wild turkey anyway. Now there's one thing you look at. In pellet, there's three holes right there and there's three holes right there. So that BB, those BBs are not in that piece of breast. Could have been one of those on the other side. 
I don't see no more feathers on that one. So. That's it. Fresh water. I'm gonna leave this in the refrigerator because I'm gonna cook this for season. Nature's bounty right there, boy. I really like it. Can you beat that? Turkey over so I can fit this wild turkey in here. Alright, let's clean it up. Go get you one. Try that method. Good luck.